Okay, so I'm going to make another GIF tutorial. Um, the first one I made was in Photoshop PS6, and I'm using PS5 because I kind of like it better. And because like when you're adding like PSDs on this stuff, you can actually see a preview of it and stuff. But yeah, but you go to import video frames to layers, and then I want to make it off of One Direction. I'm gonna make it like really easy. Like, from the One Direction Kissy video. And then, I made a tutorial, I made like a video tutorial about how to download Photoshop PS5 for free. Yeah, and it will be in my other videos and stuff. But it's like really late. And I couldn't sleep, so I'm making a video. If it will work. Thank you. Oh, sorry. The draggy thing is kind of difficult sometimes. But basically, you just like drag to the part of the video that you want to get. Let me pause this for a second because it's being difficult. Okay. Okay. So basically, I wanted to get the part where Zane is like. In the little face you go and saying, I'm not really good at tutorials, but anyway. And I pick the section I want to make the GIF from, and then I, and then I click on limit to every two frames, and then I click on OK, and then I let that load. So it's making layers. Hmm. I'm gonna pause this and wait for it to make layers. Hey. Is it recording? Okay. And then, once it's all like loaded and everything, it should look like this. Yeah, and now it's just to get rid of the frames that you don't need, so click on the fr first frame and then hold on the shift button and then click on the last frame that you want to delete. And then it should select all and then click on the little trash bin. And then click yes, delete frames, and then just keep doing this. So you get rid of the frames that you don't need. Okay. Yeah. E. C. Let's um, go towards the end. I'm rambling, but I really don't care. C. You don't really want that part. So. Basically, you like you want to get the part of your GF like in the middle. Like you start from the front, and then you get close to where the GF starts, and then you go to the end part, and then get rid of the ones in the back. And then that kind of that helps a lot. And then, so now I got rid of like a lot of frames. Like I got rid of like 40, 50 frames right there. Okay, now time to change the time. I usually ch put it to what point one? No, yeah, point one. Seconds there, and then okay. I want to I want to like get rid of some frames, so give me a second. Okay, so I got rid of a bunch of frames, and so I'm down to 15. And so this is what it looks like so far. Okay, now I'm gonna crop it to get rid of the black bars. Yeah, and then click the little check mark. And just wait for that. Hmm. I'm just pause. And this is what it looks like right now. Go back on the arrow. Yeah, and then now I want to resize it because I downloaded a really high quality video. See, the width is like really big, so I'm gonna make it maybe 450 might work, but I'm not sure. And it will make it look a little smaller. 
I'm gonna pause it again. Sorry, I just don't want this. Okay, I actually made it. Um, I actually changed with the 500 now because I went to file and disable web, and I went to see if I had like if I didn't go over the requirements for the timber, the size requirements, and I had some space left over. Okay, so now I'm gonna sharpen it, and I and to sharpen I do Shift and F2, and then it sharpens it automatically for me. And, um, if I can, I'm gonna try and find the, um, tutorial that I found on Tumblr about how you can, like, sharpen all the, like, frames at once by, like, making, like, an action thing right there that I have. Because I can't remember how, like, how I made it, but I just, like, followed it and stuff. But, yeah, it sharpens it. And then, the thing with this is now that after, I have to, I have to add the PSD after I sharpen it, so it just, like, messes up the whole thing. So, I, I sharpen it, then I add the PSD. And I think I have way too many PSCs and I don't know what to do with it. Maybe black and white, I don't know. I want to try a black and white one. Open. And give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to add two PSDs on there because I want to make it black and white. I'm going to add this one. Oh, and to add a PSD, you just basically like drag it to the side of the JF that you're making. And then like all of its layers will come up and you just like drag the um, folder over the PS over like the picture of your JF, I guess. And then and it adds it to it. And then to add another one, you just do the same thing. And you can like make adjustments with the to make adjustments, you go to opacity right there and then change it. I'm going to add this one because this one makes it really light and I want to change that. So I'm going to make it about 22-ish, 21-ish. Yeah, that seems good. And then you can just like X out of them once you like finish with them. Because now like, you need them after that. And then there you have it. And it's easier for me to make it like black and white. And if you want, this is optional, but if you want to add like um, like a credit thing for your blog, you just like click on the little text thing. Let me see if it will let me. Give me a minute. Because I, I haven't really done it one. Okay. So to basically add text, you just click on the little T right there, and then you click on a, a spot that you want to put it in there. And I'm probably just going to put it at the bottom right here. And then you like pick the font that you want and the color. Maybe you're gonna go. And you can also change how like you can also change the op opacity of that too. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. And okay. And then you just put in your like Tumblr URL or whatever. Mine is. Oh, I can't even do my own URL. <laughs> Pain. Hmm. Maybe I should move it to a different spot. Because the white is just. I'm sorry, I'm being really picky today. One second. Okay, so I'm gonna put mine in the bottom corner. Like Suzanne's hand right here, near the bottom. Yeah. That's a good spot because you can still see it. And click on. After you put it in there, you click check. And you wanna make sure it's on the top of all of your layers so it goes to all of the frames. And then you can go to opacity, and then you can like change how like if it's like see through or not. See that? I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah. So it's kind of like there, but not there at the same time. And then once you're done with that, you can go to file, save for web and devices. Another thing that I'm, oh poo, what did I do? Why is it over? It was just at like seven a second ago. Okay, I just had to change how many colors are in it. Okay, that's another way you can like make the size go down if you just like change how many colors. And there you have it. There's my finishing up. Oh, and another thing, every single time that I, sh that I do like the, the like the quick sharpen with all of it, it always changes the looping options from forever to one, so you have to make sure you change that back. And, yeah.
there's my GIF. And then just save. I'm just going to type it, title it Zane GIF. And then I'm going to put it on Tumblr. Yeah. And just wait for that to save. And I'm going to put it on Tumblr, so give me a second. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the dashboard, and then here's what it looks like on my blog. Yay! Feel accomplished. But yeah, that was my tutorial. Oh, follow my blog. I'm not really good with, with edits, really, but I know how to do them. But yeah, these are just like some other ones of mine. They're not best but I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like I'll put like I don't know, tell me if I can make more because I see a bunch of tutorials on like Tumblr and I'm like wondering if I should like, make them into video forms for like other people to see because they're like really good ones on Tumblr and they're like written and stuff. But yeah. That's my video. Okay.